Hello everyone, so today we're gonna do credit, credit we've done in C, now we'll see how much easier it is to do in Python. So if you guys don't remember how credit works, we basically get a credit card number like 4003 and we need to check if it's a valid credit card number and then check which flag the credit card number is, so Visa, MasterCard, so on and so forth. The gist of the problem is understanding Lance algorithm. So how does Lone's algorithm works? We're going to look at every other digit of the credit card. So we skip the last one, then we look at the second last. Skip the last, look at zero. We multiply those numbers by two. If the multiplication uh, gives a digit, for example, two times six is 12. If that digit is greater than uh, 10, so it has 10, two digits or more, so 10, 11, 12. We don't add the 12, we add 1 plus 2, so we actually add the sum of the digits. So observe that, we first multiply by 2, then if the number that resulted in the multiplication by 2 is two digits, we need to sum the digits of that number, so 12 is actually 1 plus 2. Then you add all those numbers together, that gives 13. We add all the numbers that we didn't multiply by 2, so 4, 0, 0, so on, so forth. Add that to 13, and then if the last digit is 0, it means it's correct. So that's a lot of steps, so that's why we need to break it down into smaller steps. If you guys see me looking sideways, it's because I have, uh, I have the ID beside me. Uh, also, if you want to know how to become a developer without a degree, take a look at the description below. I have a great video explaining some cool tips. So without further ado, let's take a look at the problem. So let me go to CS50 ID. I have this uh, main, this credit.py. So let's create a main. Always a good idea. Uh, let's print hello. Just to make sure everything is good. And call main. So let's take a look at that. Credit, uh, forgot the colon. So let's run. All right, hello. So now inside of main, we need to ask the user for a credit card. So we could, it is an integer, so we can get that as an integer. Uh, that's, we use that in C. In C, it was actually a long, uh, but in Python, we could have used the int. But uh, I'll actually use a string for this one. And you guys will see why. So I'll import get string, which is a function to get the string. So card number will be equals to get string. What's the credit card number? And uh, what I want to do is basically check use LUMS algorithm. So I'll call that checksum and I'll send the card card number. So let's create a function called checksum that takes a card number as an input. Let's uh, print the card number and let's make sure everything's working. So I really like this step-by-step -step approach. So we make sure that we're doing we're on the right track. Okay, so we are. We inputted one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So why might we want to use this as a string if it's an integer? Because we can't use a for loop in a uh, in an integer. We would have to use a technique, which is something like that. So let's say the number is one, two, three. One, two, three, four. So to get, to look through an, a number like that, I can do something like that. So y on num different than zero. I can, for example, count digits. I can equal zero. I can count digits plus equals one. And then divide my num by uh, 10, okay? So if you guys probably seen this, uh, we could do that here. Uh, 
why not? But let me try, I want to see, uh, show you guys a trick. So using a for loop, we can do something more interesting. Uh, we can use the index of the string to check if it's uh, the right alternate number, right? Because we need to check if it's in the... So is, there are two sequences here, one starting at four and another starting at one. The one starting at four skips one, then grab zero, skip zero, and one is the same thing. So what we can do is do a for loop, since it's a string, in card number, how can we go from, because uh, if we do a loop like that, it will go from left to right, because it's a string. How can we go from right to left? We can do something like that. So card number, length of card number, minus one, minus i. So what that does is the length card number minus one, if my i is zero, which is the first uh, index I'll have here, that's equivalent to my last digit. When, when i equals one, that's the next one, right? It's uh, one, and then it's zero. So I'm basically going backwards. So let me show you guys what I mean. One, two, three, four, five. That prints five, four, three, two, one. So it's going backwards. Uh, so that's useful, why? Because I know if i is uh, divisible by two, uh, it is not gonna get multiplied by two, right? Because when i equals zero, that's the last one. Uh, that's the last digit. And I don't wanna multiply the last digit by one. I wanna multiply one. So basically, if, if i is divisible by two, remember we do this using module, we can create a variable called uh, 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 two, not two sequence, not mult two sequence, S sequence, sequence, and a mult two sequence. So that's like one is, so we're not gonna multiply by two. So all we can do is add this number to my, so let's grab this number because we're gonna use this variable. So cur num will be equals to this, okay? So I'm gonna add my cur num to not multiple of two. Otherwise, if it's not divisible by two, I know if it's not my i is not divisible by two, I know I need to multiply by two because that's my one, my zero, my zero, zero, my six. Uh, it's an odd, it's odd when I do mod two. So then what I do is I add that to mode sequence. I can do something like that. But there is a problem because some numbers starting from six, when I multiply by two, I get two digits. So what I could do is create a function, something like that. I could create a function like num digits, right? I'm just multiplying here, uh, uh, simplify. And then sum digits. I could do something like that, like if uh, num digits, of my current num is equals two of two times my current num. So that will be my 12, two times six. Uh, I then call some digits two times current num. I could do something like that, but there is a trick here that we can use in Python. We can create an array called uh, digits uh, mode two digits array. So what zero times two? Zero. One times two? Two. Two times two? Four. Three times two? Six. Four times two? Eight. Five times two? Ten. But it's two digits. So I sum the digits. 
What's the sum of the digits of 10? 1 plus 0, 1. 2 times 6, 12, which is equal to 1 plus 2, 3. 7 times 2, 14. 1 plus 4, 5. 2 times 8, 16. 1 plus 6, 7. 2 times 9, 18. 1 plus 8, 9. So now, what we can do is just look at this array, and that will give us the answer. So we say mold. Let me cast this to a neat, because this is a string. I can say mold to digits array kernel and add that to my mold to sequence, which is basically all the numbers that I multiply by two. And then in the end, I let's see if I get 20, which is what I want for the example provided. So the example provided is this 4003, and it should get 20. It should give us 20. So num digits, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. It's because I, I didn't remove that death I created. So let's test that out. And remember that in the end, we need to check if the last digit is 0. So that will be module 10. So let me remove this. Save and run. So I'm going to run, paste, and that gives me 20, which is exactly what we expected. So now we want to return if the last digit, so we have a, a total sum. Let's create a total sum variable that is equal to not mold to sequence plus mold to sequence. And print and return if we say total sum. What's total sum module 10? That will give me the last digit of total sum, which is 20. If the last digit of total sum is 0, we return true. So we can do something like that. So that will return true if my last digit equals 0. So let's actually print my checksum here. Let's run. Oops. Let me copy this number again. True. Let's say I change the number uh, by, I don't know. Let me print the total sum to get an idea so you guys can see. Uh, let me run again. So, so 20 true. Now let me put another one. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 14, the last digit is 4. It's not 0. So it returns false. So my checksum is working. My checksum is working. So again, what I'm doing is I'm looping through the, the, num the number using a for loop. I can do that because I got the number as a string. Before I use it, I cast it to an int. This, what's inside of my square brackets here is basically convince yourself it's doing the reverse from, from the end to the beginning. So if you go step by step the value of i, you see that you're going right to left. If, if my index represented here by i is divisible by 2, it means I'm not going to multiply it by 2. So I just add it to this not mult to sequence variable. If it is not divisible by 2, I multiply by 2. I can get the multiplication in this array. The great thing about using the array is that I already have the sum of digits. So I don't need to do all the function calls. And basically, I sum them both and then return true if the last digit is zero. So this is not a straightforward problem, but still, it's very good. So now that we have the checksum working, uh, what we need to do now is to check individual uh, flags, right? So check if it's a visa, check, check if it's uh, something else. So what I want to do, oh my God, because it's a Mac, when I move my fingers to the left, it, it messes up, but it, it will open pretty quick. So let's do uh, a function called print card flag. So 
So that will get to the a card number as well. And then I'll do the checksum inside of the print card flag. So if checksum, checksum card number is false, I'm gonna say invalid card, right? So this is an invalid card. And if I'm gonna do a check Amex, Amex, American Express is true I'm gonna say what it is a Amex Amex so step by step guys don't do all the other ones so let's create now a check Amex function that gets a card number as an input now let's see what uh, Amex is so let me do a control F Amex so a uh, Amex uh, let's see so all American Express numbers start with 34 or 37 okay so we just need to check if the first two digits are 34 or 37 let's see if there is a restriction on the number of digits yes 15 digits so there are two conditions it has to be 15 digits and the first two digits have to be 34 or 37 so what we can do is first since it's a string i can use length and again this is like uh, being a string makes our life easier it provides us with a couple of functions that makes us makes it a little bit easier with my students i like sometimes not making it as a string just so it, they can practice but if you're familiar already with programming if you did the c part you can use this tricks so if the card number is 15 and how do we get the first two digits we can do uh, index slicing so in Python if we do column 2 that gives us the first two letters because the when we omit the first one is the same as saying 0 uh, and then 2 is not inclusive so we'll grab letters numbers 0 and 1 which are the first two digits and then we can say in create an array so we want it to be 34 37 34 37 so this in function returns true if the first two digits are either 34 and it's a string right so let's make it a string 34 37 so if it's either 34 37 i return true otherwise i return false so let's check now let's get a credit uh american express number let's see visa visa where is the american express number for me to to practice let me actually google let's see if someone amex credit card number this one so observe the first two digits are 37 right so 37 so let's run the program credit card number uh we didn't it didn't print uh amex why it did not print amex let's try again let me see if there is a let me see if it's working so we can put some print statements here maybe i didn't save so it's as if okay so it's because i'm, I'm never calling the print card flag so if i call the print card flag with a card number it should work now so i can remove this and it should print amex Uh, card is not defined online uh, card number so making mistakes is okay guys as long as you're able to debug quickly amex okay and let me remove this print uh, total sum 
So the other ones will be very similar. So I'll have a check visa and a check just for the sake of finishing the problem. Uh, we'll do the check master. So, but it's very similar. A leaf check master. Once you got to this point, it should be good. True. Great. Master card. A leaf check visa card number equals equals true print visa and if it's none of those the only option is that it's invalid so maybe uh it passed the check sum but it's not it, it's not any other flag so let's finish implementing check amax so now check that check what's the name check master master card number so basically if you look at the problem description the check master basically uh the number the length of the number has to be 16 it's all in the problem description guys and uh card number first two digits uh and remember, does, do I pass it as a neat to my function? No, I can just check card number two. The first two digits have to be either 51, 53. Uh, what are the options? Let me see. 51, 52, 52, 53, 54, 55. Uh, they're all strings Okay Okay, awesome So then I print the uh, I return true else return false okay let's test it let me get a visa number i think the example they give is a visa so it should print visa check visa is not defined uh check master check master yes so i put this check visa it's not implemented yet so let me paste invalid uh, let me see one thing one two three okay so a credit card let's see visa so visa has to be oh it's because it's a master I'm thinking Visa, but I'm checking a master. So let's get another example. Master credit card. Example. So this one. Let me... Is it going to ignore the spaces? Let's see. Yeah, I need to remove the spaces. So let me paste here, remove the spaces, and then copy. So like in a real program, you might have some sort of checking. So it is printing MasterCard. Last one, check Visa. So check Visa, same thing, card number. So what are the conditions for a Visa? So the length can be if length card number. There are two length now. Now it can be 13 or 16, the length. So we can use the in function again and put the possible options in an array. And then we can, uh, the first digit has to be four. So card number, card number zero equals four. We return true else we return false 
So now let's test with that credit card number I was trying and being unsuccessful. This one. So if I run, because I'm not calling the fund. So you need to call the fund. Alif check master card number equals true. Print visa. So now it should return visa. Not quite because I called check master again. So now we should call visa. What's visa? Okay. So guys, this is not a straightforward problem. This is kind of tricky, but great to get your foundations of, of uh, Python uh, up to speed. Take a look at the checksum. I think this is the trickiest part of the entire code. Uh, there are other ways. I just think this might not be intuitive at first, but it's an elegant solution. The code will be available at the description, so what I recommend copying, pasting your CS50 ID, playing around with the code, using debug50 to see what the values are. So I hope you guys enjoyed this solution. This is like a longer version, but I, I believe it's more helpful, alright? So see you guys in the next videos.